Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing great today. Now, in our previous lessons, we've been talking about table spaces, data files, you know, how to create table space, how to rename a data file, how to move a data file, how to drop a table space. And we've been doing all of that using SQL commands, right? even though we've been running those commands on our SQL developer. Now, today's lesson will focus solely on using the SQL developer to create and manage your table spaces. So the first thing you want to do is to right click here and then click on manage database. Now you can see the entire table spaces we have in this pluggable database. Remember, we created this pluggable database when we started our practice for table spaces. So these are all the table spaces we have, and you can see the percentage used for system is 98.94, sysox is 94.59, undo table space is 90, and then users is just 20% used. Now for this ones we just created, you can see the percentage used 1%, 0.64%, you know, nothing really because, you know, we don't have so much objects in them. Okay. You can see the number of data files they have. Uh, this one has two data files. Remember, we, we added another data file to this table space. Okay. But then if you need to create a table space, for instance, how do you do that? I'll show you a very powerful feature in the SQL developer. Okay. Um, you come here, view, and then click on DBA. Now, when you click on DBA, you see that this window opens. This is a different win window specifically for database administrative functions, right? So click on this connection and then say OK because the connection is already spotted. So say OK. And then come here and click this plus sign. You see everything in this pluggable database. Now, what you need to do is to click on this plus sign for storage, right? Come down and then click on table spaces. So that will show you all the table spaces. Basically, the same information you were viewing earlier, but this time around, with an option for you to create. A table space so if you want to create a table space all you need to do is to click on actions and then create new yes so you have a page now to create your table space so let's assume we want to name the table space um, TBS 7 okay table space type should be permanent and then the data file name course should be TBS one underscore zero one dot dbf that's the extension for database file okay and then for the directory you need to go to your server get the location of the pluggable database and then impute it there right so let me just quickly log in here And then I'll come here, go to other locations, go to computer, U01, app, Oracle, Aura Data, ORCL, and then the location of the pluggable database is TBS PDB. So I'll click on it. So this is now the location we want to use. I'll open a terminal and then type PWD, that's print working directory. So I can now take this whole thing, copy it, come here and paste it, right? Now for the file size, data file size, I'll leave it at um, 20, and click this drop down list, choose the letter M, 20 megabytes. Okay. And then I'll click on properties, file type, 
I'll choose small file, online status, choose online, leave the block size, login, I'll choose login. And then segment management, I'll choose auto, extent management, I'll choose local. And then go to default parameters. And then for table compression, I'll choose no compress. Now, the final thing I want to show you is to click on this DDL. That's the data definition language. It will show you the scripts to create this particular table space. So you have two options. Either you copy this entire script and execute it on your SQL developer space, or you just go ahead and click OK. And the table space has been created. So if you refresh, you can see the table space TBS7 has been created with the size data file size 20 megabytes, right? So this is how you can use your SQL developer to create a table space. In the same way, you can also use your SQL developer to either add a data file or to drop the table space. It's a very simple thing. All you need to do is to come to this DBA view, click the drop down of your table spaces, and then let's look at this one we just created. So once you click on it, you get this information. And the next thing you can do is to click on this drop down arrow under actions. So you can see add data file, change storage management, change read state, change offline or online, and then drop table space. So whatever you want to do, whatever operation you want to carry out, you can also do with your SQL developer. So let's say I want to drop this table space. And then I have the option to include the contents and data files. Remember, when we issued the drop table space command, we use the include contents. And I told you that if you want to, and I told you that if you don't include the data files, the table space will be dropped, but the data files will remain. But if you include the data files, everything about that table space will go. So we are giving the option to include the content and I also include the data files. Since no table has been created yet, there's no need including the cascade constraints, right? So we just click on apply. So you can see successfully processed SQL command. Click on OK. So guys, this is how to use your SQL developer to manage your table spaces. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was interesting to you. If it was, kindly like it and share it widely. And most importantly, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. In fact, smash the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon so you don't miss out whenever I upload another valuable content. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.